Two here has heard of the Chris Sessions before? Yeah. yeah. Who's just here to see Jamie? Hey. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> uh, obviously, we're a Chris podcast, uh, for people who don't know. Um, so we've got everyone a little present. If you all look under your chairs, you will find fuck all. Fucking nothing. You get fuck all. You, you get, get fuck all. all. You, you get fuck all. all. You look, look, look. Fuck all. Fuck all. We've got Chris because we fought ahead. Twat! <laughs> so the plan was for the, our podcast to be a nice one originally, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to let off steam. Um, I, I've been... I, I, I'm, I'm going under. Um, Jamie's very hungover today. I'm very hungover, plus I've been doing an experiment all week and it's really backfired. Go on. Because I'm trying to give up drugs, but I need excitement in my life. So I've been having loads of Pro Plus <laughs> and loads of sleeping tablets and seeing who wins. And loads of drugs, I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's legal drugs, isn't it? I'm getting the legal buzz. Oh, right, right, right. So right. I'm, I'm doing like, you know, Joseph Mangali. Who? Joseph Mangali. I don't know that he was one of, He was like one of the good Nazis, not good Nazis, but <laughs> one <of the> high-end, <laughs> high-end Nazis. What was his did, name? Mangala. Mangala, the friendly Nazi. The angel of death. <laughs> Mengala. Sorry, I'm no good with foreign names. <laughs> uh, Big Joe, yeah, he did uh, loads of mad experiments, so I'm, I'm going to do them, but on myself, not Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what your brother has been doing for years? <laughs> yeah. Basically, his experiments on you. Yeah, yeah, I just need some internal pain. Yeah. We didn't plan this at all. <laughs> Perhaps we should have. Has anybody got any questions? <laughs> yes. yes? Favourite Chris. Good question. What's your favourite Chris, Jamie? It's such a... I don't want to disrespect any other Chris, do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I live my life a lot like you, do you know where I give personalities to, to inanimate objects? Yeah, yeah, you've got to personify everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah do you yeah. like... That's why I hate ketchup. Because ketchup, to me, is just a sauce. Do you know what I mean? Do you like brown sauce and stuff? Yeah, I'm just brown sauce, I'm chilling, lad, I'm, I'm sound. I'll just use them on breakfast, yeah, whatever. Whatever you... Because it's arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm actually a ketchup. Shut the fuck up, mate. Needy little prick. Why are you having chicken dippers? Do you need me? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Only child syndrome, little weasel of a fucking condiment, mate. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you, you mean. Know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a kid who's like brought his ball and it's his rules and if he concedes, it's, it, it, you know, if he concedes heads and volleys, it don't count. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a little weasel nerd kid who needed to get he knows, battered. He knows that everyone likes him and he's yeah. just, yeah. You know, no one likes him. No one he's likes him. No, he's just a rich kid that everyone has to have. Right, okay. Yeah. He he's forces just, himself upon the meal. It's a Nepo baby sauce, man. <laughs> If it was a person, it'd be doing Taskmaster. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking cunt, mate. It's whereas, a hack sauce. Whereas mayonnaise, you think is white. But is mayonnaise the blackest sauce there is? Because <laughs> he's just cool, he's just laid back. Mayo brov. Loads of brothers. <laughs> Garlic mayo. Chili mayo. Do you know what I mean? That's the blackest thing I can think of. I don't think anybody knows what you mean. I just answered your question about uh, what our favourite crisps is. So, right? <laughs> so, in that vein, Brannigan's having mustard. I mean, you've got to have different crisps for different situations, mm. and I'm a big believer of that. A meal deal crisp is completely different to a yeah, bowl of crisps. Like, if you're, if you're watching a film, I don't want McCoy's, I want no. kettle chips. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But if yeah. I'm going for a meal deal, then you get your McCoy's in. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, cheese yeah. on your walks, on a butter, nothing else. Yeah. I agree. No. Uh, yeah, I, for an overall winner, P for P, Canelo Alvarez would be hammer mustard. Brannigan's, yeah. You not heard of Brannigan's? Who's heard of Brannigan's? I'm, I'm a mustard. Yeah, look at, see what I mean? Look how happy they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's uh, discontinued now. Rest in peace. Yeah. 
because of scum like you buying walkers. <laughs> Mayonnaise sc- will be next. <laughs> <laughs> they come from the, they come from my mayo, oh, mate. I'll be gone <laughs> from this mortal realm. We've got some Chris. Do you want some? What have we got? We've got the worst Chris that we had on the podcast, the Christmas pudding ones. But now they're out of date. So Does anyone say- want the most disgusting Chris in the world? Oh, that guy with a hat. Merry Christmas. Oh, sorry, mate. Merry Christmas. Oh, this is it for 45 minutes. Just yeah. <laughs> throwing out an eight crisp where <laughs> I have a mental breakdown about sauce and no one's on my wavelength. <laughs> Literally every bag of Chris in this bag is out of date. Yeah. I bought them for the next series of Chris sessions, then we just didn't do one. When, yeah. We got one job. We got one job, yeah, yeah. yeah. Famously one job. And heaven forbid we buy more Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Good question, sauces. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the sauce sessions. <laughs> The crisp sauce, is that it? Is that a thing? I like, I like a bit of heat, but I don't want it to be a personality, you know, where people are crying and all that and they think it's going to solve their marriage problems. <laughs> Your kids aren't going to see her. I know Habanero's going to bring her back. <laughs> so put the fucking bottle down and just have mayo. <laughs> Stay safe. Eat mayo. <laughs> There's a lot of stag do who will go too hard on sauces, won't they? Like a big, they'll go big on curry, yeah. and then you're not you're not impressing anyone. Or the jumbo breakfast. Have you seen them breakfast? Aren't this new thing on Facebook? Yet? I'm I'm in the the full English breakfast club and the fish and chips club. I'm a member. <laughs> of course you are. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, jo- I joined. Not it. in the salad club, are you? <laughs> Croutons or no croutons? What do you, what, what do you guys think? Um, Jamie, before this, Jamie said to me once, he said, uh, oh, I've had to go from a large to an extra large. So I've had to have a word with myself and buy bigger clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have had a different word with yourself there, mate. <laughs> I'm a realist. <laughs> what are we on about? Sources. Sausage, yeah. Um, I was in the full English breakfast club and that, yeah. And there's this new thing on Facebook, you know, about eating challenges. I love eating challenges. Um, where they are so pathetically bad. They're like getting, you're like a cook. Not, not cook, not a, uh, not a chef. Not a chef, yeah, yeah. As in a cook, sex cook. Right, yeah, yeah. So so someone watching <laughs> someone eat a breakfast. But fail miserably. Right, okay. <laughs> There's this new, I'm, I'm really macabrely into men who only have two slices of toast and give up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So you can be like, so you're competing with the competitive eaters? I, I like the thought of them failing miserably and then their girl coming to me. Cause I can you eat this for me? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Again, no. Why is... For a man who says things that nobody means, you say, do you know what I mean a lot? I, ash- I have thoughts. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> I have flash thoughts, and my logic is if I think it, others must think it. Yeah, yeah. The mo- that, that's why I always say, do you know what I mean, after I've said something, yeah, because yeah. I can see the, the, the eye. twinkle. I can see the eye just... Twinkle, like he's yeah. not normal. Every now and again, though, you say something, I'm like, I've never thought that, but I do think it. I am really profound. <laughs> <laughs> Very high, bro. I am. I'm, I generally think I'm one of the most intelligent men on the planet. <laughs> I, f- I do think you're more intelligent than you seem. <laughs> but <laughs> in this tent, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Depends <laughs> on these morons. These watch these use it in their spare time pay to watch us. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Who wants another bag of crisp? <laughs> That's what we got. We got uh Well these ones are Japanese, I think. Do you want to say something? Oh that was weird. They look pickly pickled onion. Yeah. 
Pol Let's guess the flavour. Polar bear shaped. What? Come on, give him your dad. That's not right. What are It's got it's got hawk written on it. <laughs> but it's not a hawk. And sheep. Oh my god, what an age we live in. They're like they couldn't be arsed making the shape of the animal. <laughs> Someone's right. <laughs> just written sheep. That is not a hawk. They've clearly made him a god. We need to give him a clue here. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't plan A to write it on. I want to see if there's an... Oh, should we play Snap? <laughs> Why don't we play... I know who we'll play. We'll play Guess What Shape It Is. Well, I, I, and... <laughs> we'll play Guess the Animal. Yeah, brilliant for all these who can't see what shape it is from over there. Oh. Oh. Uh, do, do you want to do yes and no questions? No, I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna go. I think that is a pig. No, that's clearly a pig. Rhinoceros. Fuck off, rhinoceros. <laughs> you can't fit rhinoceros on there. Oh, no. <laughs> they did it. They did it. The crazy bastards did it. That was disgusting. <laughs> that tastes worse than the shapes. <laughs> A bit dry, I need some ketchup on these. <laughs> that is... They are insanely bad. Does anyone want to taste how bad they are? Have they... I'll never throw them all the way over there. I'll throw them to you. Hey! Go on. Oh. Tiger. Ah, oh, it's the best one. Mm. <sighs> yeah, make the sound. Make the sound of a tiger. Make the sound and we'll guess what animal it is. <laughs> Make the sound of the animal before you eat it. Yeah. Or you don't get any dinner. <laughs> Down syndrome? Oh. <laughs> is that an animal? <laughs> Rhinoceros. See, that's the most Down syndrome animal, I reckon. <laughs> Strong. Horny. Horny. <laughs> <laughs> Usually uses the full name. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. There we go. Should we play if the they, game? If, if they had a rebrand, the Downs. <laughs> yeah, I'm a rhino. I tell you what, would it be good if all Down syndrome people now had massive horns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make that happen. Starmer. <laughs> Oh, I love their little faces, man. Wait, are we, wait, are we about downs or rhinos? <laughs> rhinos. <laughs> rhinos. Rhinos. Never look at face. Very dangerous animal, the rhino. That's downs as well. Oh, no, I'm thinking of hippo. I'm thinking of hippo. hippo. What? Hippo is a surprisingly dangerous one. Yeah, it? massive one. Yeah. Big old mouth on those. I was thinking about downs in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my mind's going. Just a little... I'm surprised we've not got a Downs tent here. Oh, we have the new act tent later. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to check that out. A special needs zoo would be good. What? A special needs zoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just different kind of special needs, in it? What would be your favourite to go and Yeah, what would be like the, the star attraction? Yeah, yeah. Don't feed the bulimics. <laughs> Can't see him. <laughs> that paraplegic isn't doing much. Tapping the glass. Wake that depressive up. <laughs> we only come out once a month. Yeah. Oh, yes. Family friendly, crisp podcast. That was what we planned. Yeah. Did not go well. Should we do the game? We planned a game. We have planned a game. Very quickly. Half planned a game. an hour before we started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> While Rob Thomas was on. We had some whiteboards and I thought, well, what can we do this? Who wants to be a volunteer for our game? That woman over there was very quick. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> do, 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 do,
Bethan. Hello, Bethan. So what we're going to do, this is a very, very brilliant game. I think we, we, we might sell it if yeah. we can get enough money from IT. We're getting bidding against each other, I think. Yeah. The game is, you're going to write down your favourite crisps, and we're going to try and work it out based on your personality. <laughs> so write it down. Do not show us or the audience. So I'll ruin the game. Right. Straight away, what are you thinking? First thoughts. Uh, strong, independent, lesbian bouncer. <laughs> yeah. I'm going beefy. <laughs> Brannigan's might be an early oh. shout, you know. Oh. Gusta Winch will stink a monster munch down there. <laughs> and she was so eager to come on as well. That was my first thought. Mm. Like, she did... She's, she's clearly a... Uh, she's got good posture. Great posture, great yeah. posture. She's clearly an extrovert. Yeah. So I'm thinking a fancy shape, maybe a Dorito. It's quite a fancy shape. No, I think, I think she thinks she's better than what she is. Yeah, she's yeah. Getting yeah, yeah, yeah. really HR vibes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> annual leave declines, I'm afraid. <laughs> you have to come in, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're not afraid. You could fucking let me have the day off. But no, it's Palisa. It's Palisa. That's a good point. Um, <laughs> I'm having dehydrated vegetable actually. <laughs> fucking giving me day off, man. He's wearing maroon. That gives me smoky bacon vibes. But it's summer, it's meat. Wait, are you, are you religious? We still go with smoky bacon then? Mm. I think Smoky Bacon Walkers, yeah. Maybe, maybe Smoky Bacon Walkers, yeah. Mm. The thing is, though, again, we've got to think, of si what situation is this woman eating crisps in? <sighs> I think in the office she'll be like, no, I won't, but when she gets home. Oh, when she's home, she's rolling in what's it's the pig. <laughs> dirty, dirty, what's it eater, just rolling around there, what's it dust all over you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! In one! I understand women! Unfortunately, they rarely understand you. <laughs> well done! Give me a big cheer! Thank you! I mean, we've got. Still got a lot of time to kill. <laughs> Does anyone else want to play Watch Your Favourite Crisps? <laughs> we got another woman! <laughs> Sorry. It's 2024! It's the lighting. It's the lights dark in it. <laughs> Not got my readies on. Here you go. Thank you. Sorry. What's your name? Carrie. Harry. 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 With a hate. Write it down. <laughs> Oh, it's a long name. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're Chris. Oh, I was, I was oh, a great name. I thought you were doing all these pronouns after it. <laughs> <laughs> Their pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right, first thing I'm thinking, glasses. What does that tell us about Chris? Mm, studious. Yeah. He looks very, very basement. He looks like he's wagged the day off at CEX to be here today. I think we're ruling out posh crisps. Oh, he's never had a one pound bag. I think we're only, I think we're only looking here at crisps that are regularly on offer. Yeah, he's cheesy Tom cunt. <laughs> Ten P ones, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a nerd, I think. I'm thinking Space Raiders. Space Raiders a shout. It's definitely that. Budget on the way home from school, just uh, another day of getting battered and spat on. <laughs> what better way to cheer myself up than an attempt? Oh, I've, oh yeah, I got all my lunch money robbed off me dinner again. I've only got 20p left, but ha! Ah, the joke's on them because I actually like fucking Tom's, to <laughs> Tangy Tom's. 
if that's the case and they're regularly getting beat up, I think maybe the, uh, the, they're buying very small bags of crisps so yeah, they can hide, yeah. conceal them, maybe a mini cheddar. Transformers. Transformers. Nerdy. What small, a shout. Cheap. Oh. I'm going Transformers. What flavour? Get him. That. He's good. Yeah, he is good. He can be the next guest. Yeah, he is good. Yeah. What flavour? Transfer. What flavours are there? T- spicy. Uh, spicy tomato, I, isn't it? No, not a spicy. Oh no, is he fuck that? Not spicy. Mild. What's the mildest Transformer flavour? But ba- even barbecue. I think even they're too spicy for this guy. Pickled onion would make. Him. <laughs> you glad you come up? <laughs> I'd love to see one of your socks under your bed. <laughs> I really, really want to sniff your mattress, man. When did you last change your sheets? <laughs> How many people are currently on your kill list? <laughs> I think there's one more. <laughs> see what? I don't think anyone else is going to play after this. We're going to have to come up with a new feature. Just assassinate the character and then real quavers at the end. <laughs> not even the character. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're not him a question. <laughs> have you got a job? No. No, no, <laughs> no. 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 Have you ever had a job? Yeah. Yeah? What, what, what was your job? Morrison's Cafe. Morrison's Cafe. Oh. Near food. <laughs> Did you do stuff? So. What did you get sacked for? Oh, I went back to uni. You went, you went back, back to uni? uni. What, what are you studying you at uni? Film studies. Film studies? Yeah. 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 And what restaurant do you want to work in <laughs> in the future? <laughs> oh, that might tell us a lot about food. Mm? Thinking food. Get on the food train. Spoons would be bad. Weather spoons. <laughs> spoons wouldn't be bad. And, on, honestly, I think that you're the first person who said that who's aiming too high. <laughs> Weatherspoons. Uh, it's a so far what we know. Morrison's Weatherspoons film study. Tramp. Tramp. We're bully. Looking basic clothes. I think maybe ready salted. Bully victim. Bully Trans. Victim. Yeah. Lesbian. Scum. Maggot. <laughs> Harry slash carry. <laughs> um, I'm going ready salted something. Uh, uh, yeah, it, I, I think I'd stick with Transformers, me. Yeah. Transformers? Yeah. Right, what, what have we got? Reveal it to the crowd. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar? I think I was the closest there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was only vinegar out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was only vinegar out. <laughs> oh. uh, it's a long shot, but does anyone else want to play? <laughs> oh, we have got, we got one more. Red jumper guy. <laughs> right. Mm? Uh, no, I'm all right. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, thank you, though. It's mm. right. nice. So, fleece. <laughs> oh, hang on. Fleece. Is he a teacher or is he a nonce? <laughs> or both? The two aren't mutually exclusive, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand a bit further back just in case you say something. And the smell. Um, What's your name? Where'd you come from? Josh, Josh Wigan. Wigan. Right, pie flavoured crisps. <laughs> Simple Brexit, 442. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you was bullied until year nine, hit puberty and then puberty. found yourself, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, puberty hit and then you was there. Yeah, we'll leave it's, him alone now. He said year eight. I reckon that's because he was forced out of school. Yeah. No, no. you was in school. Yeah, year eight. You grew above everyone in year eight. I say you can see there's sadness in his eyes from the bullying, but there's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They, they come out of it. That's why you keep your beard now, and it's a comfort blanket. But you've got a fresh face, shave it. I'd like to know what's a growth spurt like. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like shorts wearer as well. Shorts yeah. and a fleece. Shorts and a fleece, cunt. <laughs> the juxtaposition there. I'm thinking he's prepared might, for anything. I think that might give us a clue mm. with your juxtapositions. Cheese and onion. It's, it's weird. It shouldn't go together, yeah. but it does. Yeah. But maybe he's, maybe he's that. Cheese and onion walkers, I'll go for them. I think he mixes crisps together. I think, he's, I think he's seen the game and he's gone, I'm going to trick these. And he's going to go for two bags of crisps in one or something like that to try and become our mate. 
Crinkle Cut. Yeah, oh. maybe. Oh, Seabrooks, get it more. Seabrooks are the number one pub crisp. Nick Knacks are the worst crisp. Oh, fuck off, I don't care. I will knock anyone out who comes to me with a knickknack. They're the worst crisp. The only crisp I won't eat, apart from oh. the Christmas pudding ones. Yeah, and polar bear ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going cheese and onion walkers. Cheese and onion walkers? You're on walkers again? Yeah. I don't ah. think it's that ambitious being from Wigan. See? No, no, stay in my lane. Won't no. have barbecue. I think he's the opposite. Because he was bullied, he was very quick to point out, now I'm not I bullied. think he's so racist he won't have anything exotic. <laughs> Bombay? Don't fucking think so, mate. He doesn't even have Lay's on holiday. <laughs> no. No, he, pack, he, he packs pot noodles and he goes like South catering in Spain. Chicken and mushroom, yeah. not Bombay, mate. No, no. Yeah. Not that like foreign pot noodle, like. <laughs> not me chicken and mushroom. Carlin. <laughs> yeah. Only Carlin. Glute warm Carlin. Don't want it too cold. <laughs> Ruins taste. I think he might be a mild man. I think he drinks yeah. mild. <laughs> I think actually I think because he was so keen to point out that he wasn't a bully bit when he grew I mm. think he's a monster munch guy basic cheese and onion walkers go on no pickled onion monster munch I think go, reveal frazzle. frazzle I think that's goes to monster munch yeah yeah he's, he's got like the maroon as well we should have gone that yeah give it up for this guy what's your name <laughs> Josh that's it <laughs> I think four would be too many. Good, good post-sex crisp. Yeah, good feature though, isn't it? Frazzles. Yeah, frazzles are like frazzles. Good, yeah, post. Very similar to the What's It in the, the Rowankers crisp. I've, I, I like frazzles after sex. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they are a dirty crisp, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel wrong eating them. Yeah. There's no, there's no nutrition there. They're just... Yeah, because I don't smoke. That's my... <sighs> <laughs> Little frazzle. Every couple of hours nipping out of the office for a frazzle. Yeah. <laughs> In a shelter. I, I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm just a smoke a social frazzle. <laughs> yeah, it's just social a frazzle, frazzle. and pissed. Well, that's a good uh, yeah, yeah, decent one. Have you got any features you brought anything? Have I got what? Have you brought any features? Yeah. yeah. Let's play. Did you know we were doing this podcast today? Uh, let's play what, what <laughs> what's the crisp? <laughs> No, I've, I've I've got nothing, mate. You're a producer. I'm a I'm a auteur. I'm a raconteur, the artist. Yeah. I don't come with plans on. I'm hanging out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you did say something just before the podcast that uh, you want to become a professional poker player now. Yeah. Because uh, you're stuck in a dead end job at the minute. And well, I lost forty grand in my tour money. <laughs> <laughs> Hence doing this. See, so you lost, and, and how did? You- and how did you lose it? Hmm? And how did you lose it? Investing. Investing. Badly. In roulette. In roulette. <laughs> so to combat that, you're going to become a professional gambler. Yeah. Yeah. But poker's a slower death, so it's more financially stable. Is it? Yeah. Because it's slower. But you're yeah. currently on no money. Hmm. You, you've lost your money. You've lost all your money. I've not lost all of it. Oh, but right. I've lost. A lot of it. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back to month to month now. Yeah. I had one month of like, I'm so rich. <laughs> and then I thought, I, I, I'm too uncomfortable with this money. <laughs> so I gambled it all. And because I've lost it all, it's motivated me to write a new show. So my advice to anyone here <laughs> is if you want to better your life, you need to know that rock bottom has a trap door. <laughs> And plow yourself into debt and problems, and then you'd snap out of it. Yeah, yeah. And then to bounce back, become a professional comedian, and go viral on Have a Word. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. <laughs> it's a good plan, it's a solid plan. Yeah, have uh, a disabled brother and milk him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simple plan. Right, what else have we got? We've got more crisps. Have a look. What have we got in here? I don't know what these are. Tronkies. Spanish oh. crisps. Yeah, they Queso. look like Mediterranean knickknacks, don't they? Yeah, I think my wife bought them when she went on holiday, I think. Is that right? She's over there. 
Did some, you buy those? Some Bobby yeah. Gish so. It sounds like they're gonna be nicer because it says queso instead of cheese. Yeah. They smell like your bedroom. <laughs> they taste like your bedroom. Oh, they're all good. I don't mind the flavouring on them. But it's I don't it's crunch. This crunch is horrible. No. Bad. Sorry for autistic people. Don't know how much the trunk is. No. <laughs> Stay no that mod. That guy done. Ooh. Right, am I gonna go through him or am I gonna make that camera? Mm. <laughs> yes, eat them off the floor like a dirty <laughs> piggy! <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very queso-y, I think you'll find. Queso-y. Is that a Spanish word, queso-y? queso yeah. I imagine so. Yeah, yeah. They have words, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they have wires onto the fingers, don't they? Yeah. Has anybody else got any questions? That'll save us. What? Drug. I don't do drugs. Magic. Life's my drug, I mean, in case <laughs> Lauren's here already. But no, M MDMA. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's in my bag. Because <laughs> I, I, I have to have a rucksack for my key because of fucking r the woke mob. <laughs> um, you have to have what? A WhatsApp for your key? Uh, a bag for my key. Because I have to have a big key ring because I always lose it. So I can't have it in my pocket in case it falls out. So I have to put it in a bag and then I remember the bag. Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? I was fucking homeless for a night. It was sick. Is, so, this, is this the first time you've been homeless? I've s no. No. <laughs> so, no. I've is this the first time this year you've been homeless? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I had to sleep on the streets. Uh, well, on... on my street. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I got locked out and uh, I, I'd stayed in Liverpool the night before. I came home from Liverpool and I've fucking not got my key. I've left it in my hotel room, Anna. Yeah. She is can sleep through a hurricane. She's not. I'm ringing the bell relentlessly and banging on. She just won't answer. So I had to just give up and keep outside. Yeah. Like 90 minutes. Only 90 minutes. So it was uh, 90 minutes of being homeless. Did you did you have a, a shelter? No. So you just literally on the pavement? On the pavement, outside, just like, leant against the door. It was really relaxing. Yeah. It was a real nice, cool, I had headphones in, was watching poker on my phone. <laughs> and it was just a zen. It does but sound pretty good, I see. It. It's really zen. Yeah, yeah. I got, I, I've slept on the streets in Turkey. And that is different. <laughs> well, I'm warmer. Yeah. I slept in a shop doorway in Turkey and got woke up by the Turkish police. <laughs> and that was a moment where, oh, I've slept, and Spain, I've slept on the streets in Spain. God, I've been woke up by police in three countries. <laughs> oh, God's that? In three languages. Oh, God's that? <laughs> Admit. <laughs> Amigo, amigo! <laughs> yeah, it's shaking queso. <laughs> oh, your queso boy. So now, is, is your only fallback now that you've got a backpack? Because I, I can see a, a problem with the plan. Losing the backpack. Losing the backpack. Yeah. That yeah. will happen. Yeah. My life's in there, man. There's just that one key. <laughs> and the owl. I've got, what else have I got in here? Oh, let's play another game. What's in Jamie's bag? Oh, right, here we go. Paracetamol. Yeah. The book I'm reading. <laughs> That's right. Man reads. <laughs> Deodorant, surprisingly. You know what? I, I think you should put a sleeping bag in there. And that'd solve your problem a little bit more. <laughs> Has that got cum on it? Sucks. Has they got cum on it? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a pound? Did you get that when you was on the street? Oh, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it the tramp. Go on. <laughs> Come here. 
Go and give it him. There you go. But we want a big issue back. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good book. Yeah. And I've got these because of, I got a DM yesterday <laughs> uh, where he very kindly said, I was at your show last week and I know halitosis when I smell it. <laughs> Please see a dentist. So I just got a packet of mints for outside. I'll tell you what, mate. Why don't you have one now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing a dentist, mate. See, so you did bring a feature. Watching that, Jamie's back. That's we do, we do that every live show now. <laughs> usually a different bag and the answer is usually coke or cat <laughs> <laughs> any other questions Chris related non Chris related guy in the hat alright it's fine what do we think of that guy in the Lost Prophets t-shirt oh I only just realised you pointed that before and I didn't realise what you're on about oh yeah paedophile yeah <laughs> What's more concerned, he's got a camouflage hat, so we don't know what <laughs> primary school he's going to be stalking later. I've got a mate who had a Lost Prophets tattoo on his back, and oh. his name for the, whatever, 10 years has been Pedo back. <laughs> he had to move to Australia. <laughs> his name's Simon Kutzer. Search him on Facebook, call him Pedo back. <laughs> Why have you got a, a Pedo t shirt on? Because it's dead men. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ian Huntley shorts on. <laughs> Lucy let me socks. Not really a pedo, but... She's not normal, is she? <laughs> no. I think she's very overrated, me. As a... So overrated. Because she's got done quite a bit for um, attempted murder. Yeah. If you are the best baby killer in the world and you can't kill a premature baby... I think you're overrated as a baby. Plus, baby. it's just, you know, there must be a serious satisfaction about strangling a prostitute <laughs> compared to killing a baby. Yeah, it's like playing FIFA on easy mode, isn't it? What you get? I, yeah, it's good, but fucking hell. Yeah, you won 12 0, but they yeah. can't even tackle. I know. Uh, yeah. I was worried about that, saying that. <laughs> Still am, because it's being filmed. <laughs> Who's your favourite child murderer? Um, that black... It's like Chris, isn't it? You've got different child murderers mm. in different situations. I like the black guy from Atlanta. The Atlanta murders. He was Oh, good. I thought you meant Childish Gambino. <laughs> 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 I might have missed that story. Uh, he was I mean, I'm from Gorton, so my Rinley's my old change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he but they come as a pair then. Like, yeah, in a Myra. She's only doing half the work. Yeah, yeah but it's, I, I just like the vibe of it. It's, like, it's true love, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bonding over the corpse of Keith Bennett, and that's just. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic night in the Peak District. <laughs> oh, that's where, we, that's where we buried Pauline Reed, yeah. do you remember? Yeah. See what you've done. This is your fault. And your fault, bringing it up. Mouth. <laughs> Have we got any questions that aren't going to get us in trouble? <laughs> Bald guy, beard. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Freddy with AIDS. Not a question. <laughs> <laughs> a flavour of crisp that's not been made that we would like to be made. Mm. See... I like food, because in, in my head, <laughs> like, would a madras, would a madras crisp work? I don't know. I feel like the big crisp manufacturers have tried everything. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it, because they rarely miss. Yeah. Apart from knickknacks, they rarely miss. Mm. Most crisps are brilliant. Mayonnaise crisps, maybe. You yeah, maybe. Egg. They must have tried egg. Well, they've had There's no way the crisp manufacturers haven't tried egg. Yeah, they've had full English breakfast, haven't they? Yeah, they weren't in a big hit, were they? No. no. I, don't, I think trying to force a meal into crisp, it doesn't always... It's like Lampard and Gerrard, wasn't it? And <laughs> they can't play together, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Lamb and Walkers. Yeah, yeah, who yeah. goes, who stays? Yeah, so, uh, no. 
No, good question. Any other questions? Man. Sorry? Favourite shirt number. So, for those who don't know, we did one of our podcast episodes. Oh. It's, it's supposed to be about Chris, but really it's about things that we like. And one of them was a full hour where we talked about football squad numbers. And it was the, my favourite ever hour of life. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love, I love a ten. You've got to love a ten, haven't you? Got to love ten. I love a hard-hitting sixteen. Yes, you keep. Oh, sorry, shirt numbers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I like a, I like a hard sixteen, man. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be hard to wear a sixteen. Yeah. You can't, you can't be a skillful sixteen. Yeah, well, Busquets was five, and then he was, was he sixteen initially? Maybe, yeah. And maybe, then he went yeah. to a five. Do you know those, it's, it's, one of those gay new fives? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Five is midfield. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, you fucking little. It's Spanish. It's Spanish. The, yeah. the, the Spanish love a five. With like, you, Zidane yeah. made it look cool because it was Zidane. Yeah. He could wear a pie on his back. <laughs> Do you ever think he did that? <laughs> Number uh, pie? <laughs> <laughs> <Zidane>. 3.14. <laughs> 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 uh, think he did it. Uh, Zamorano did one. Uh, one, one plus point, eight. Yeah, yeah one plus eight. eight. And Neil Ruddock did 2.5. Yeah. Because of his price tag. Yeah, by the way, if you're not enjoying this, this is going to go on for another 20 minutes. So 20 minutes? Leave if you want. We've got 20 minutes to go. Well, this is, we'll call it five. <laughs> Come on. We've done 42. Uh, yeah, what's the, what's, what's the gayest number? Oh, it's got to be something odd. 13's got a place, though. The subkeeper. The Asian. There you <laughs> could be 13. <laughs> 12, yeah, your utility man, yeah. No one really wants you there, but you're just doing a job, aren't you? I think 12's more divorced than gay. <laughs> it's a hanger on 12. Yeah. You don't want him on the stag do, but he's, he's a mate that. Oh, he's been a mate for ages. So he's tell you what, 12, the number 12 is someone on the stag do who's a relative of the bride. Yeah, yeah. And he's just forced. It's Phil to Neville. Come. He's only yeah. there because he's a relative. Just boring. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm just stuck in a conversation with him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. 14's a cool one. Yeah, 14's oh, are. Yeah. You're Cruyff. You're on Rees. Yeah, he's getting arrested on the stag. <laughs> 12 helps no, 14 I think, out. I, I don't think 14's getting arrested. I think 14's pulling. Yeah, yeah. He's the only one on the stag that pulls. It's like, have you heard about 14? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he comes back and he's not, he, not even asked. Comes back, hair still looks class. 12 in the next bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a number 12. <laughs> you are so 12. You are so 12, my little dozen. I've, I've just realised my wife has left. <laughs> <laughs> now, which bit was it? Was it the squad numbers or is it the Lucy Let Me Is Overrated? <laughs> Either way, I might have to stay at yours tonight, dude. I, 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 I've got a nice part of the door that you can <laughs> lean against. <laughs> Just talking numbers into the night. <laughs> yeah, I, you, know, you can be a seven, bro. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> Let's start a football team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big hit to my ego, that. <laughs> my wife and her family. I don't think that's the last time you're going to say my wife has left me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, she's very stubborn. I doubt she's going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. uh, any other questions? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the worst smell you've ever Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh. What's the oh, no, I do know the worst smell I've ever smelled. On the, uh, for Dead Men, we did the Stag Do special and we got a tin of fish that's like the worst smell. I was already insanely hung over and we only opened it a bit and I was throwing up and it was, yeah, it was horrendous. It was, it was really bad. Oh, I found a dead body. Mm. That smelled quite bad. Found. Found a dead body, yeah. I found a dead body. Um, he'd fell off the toilet and um, so the sight I saw was I walked into a room and I saw a dead man's arsehole poking up at me. That was quite a bad smell as well. So, yeah. But yeah, still Jamie no more. I have got that death in me, man. What's your... I don't smell? really... I, I kind of welcome bad smells. Anything to overpower? Just really... <laughs> there's a warmth... 
It's like a hug, in it, off the air. I can't resist a bad smell. If someone goes, don't go in there, it stinks. Nothing I've got to go in and smell it. Do, is there nothing cold? Bad smells is warm, and nice smells is cold. <laughs> wow. Do you know what I mean? How mad's that? <laughs> the cleverest man in the country. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what, every time I look at people, yeah, I always think they're either cold buttocked or warm buttocked. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Go on. Cold. You've got a cold pig bum. <laughs> but you match with a nice warm ass. So do, you think, do you think colds always go for warms? It, it helps. Are you a cold or a warm? I'm warm. Right. So you're Lawrence cold, in, yeah. You're cold, right. I think I'm a cold, you know. No, you're warm. <laughs> you're warm, button. I got you, man. You know what? I don't care that my wife's like <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nice warm ass. I'm going to put my warm button on Tinder. <laughs> Tom, 36. <laughs> warm ass. <laughs> warm ass. <laughs> Seeking for cold asses, long walks. <laughs> Two kids, they're my word. Any other questions? Maybe last question? That guy, really far away. Right. French fries crisps. French fries crisps. Bite the end off. Bite the end off. Lick it. Lick it. And then you put the two together. Yeah, to put the two together. None, because that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> mental. <laughs> you said that with so much confidence, I think, then. <laughs> Has uh, anyone ever done that? Uh, no. Stuck french fries together? I do french fries to, like, hang, hanging out my gums so like I've got yellow teeth. But yeah. I, don't, I don't need to do that anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, you look like a vampire. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they're, good, they're good for I like putting them as a little french moustache sometimes. Mm. Yeah. They're good to play with french fries, aren't they? Yeah, there's a, so no, they're good to eat, though, are they? No, they're not, they're not filling enough. No, oh, they're just there. Yeah, yeah, very airy. The best playing crisp, obviously, hula hoops. Mm. Rings, and that's it. And if you want to go a bit through it, your dick's fitting in, fit in a hula hoop. Jumbo, <laughs> <laughs> big hoops, baby. Onion rings, you dirty bastard. You greasy dicked bastard. Girthy. Mm. Yeah, depends on the size of the onion ring, I suppose. Um, I think we should call it. I think we've done our allocated time, have we? Yeah, I. Uh, Freddie's ringing me. What a ridiculous oh time to ring me. God. Let's have, let's have some what a time sad, time. fortunate event. Wife's left and Freddie's ringing. Hiya, mate. Uh, currently on stage. What's up? <laughs> yeah, put that down. Uh, <laughs> what a nice end. Well done, mate. First applause break. First <laughs> Forty minutes in. <laughs> Look, let's always leave him. Le he always leave him wanting more. I think that's time for us to go. Right, love yous. Thank you. Watch the good sessions. Tarion Files is the best one. So, search for that. Thank you. If you enjoyed that episode, why don't you go over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash the Chris Sessions, where you can get six bonus episodes for just five pounds. It's the deal of the century. Yeah, you can actually get more than that because you can also go back to the series two bonus episodes. So there's two series worth of bonus episodes, 12 bonus episodes, and they're only £5 for each set of six. What a bargain. 12 for 10, yeah. 6 for 5. It's That's... hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of content. Them's the maths. Yeah, you will enjoy it. And if you don't, well, it's only a fiver. <laughs> yeah, it's only a fiver, isn't it? See ya.